Hi, welcome to Stress Academy. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use the drill hole AI feature and interpret the pattern accuracy results. The first step in using the drill hole AI feature is in the upload phase. Once all the information is entered for the project, we will simply toggle the drill hole AI button shown right here. So nice toggle switch right there. Then after that, we will navigate to the data set that uh, has the drill holes flown in the project. So in this case, uh, here is our data set and we will show that we have put in our designed shot plan on what this blast should have been drilled as. Now, obviously with this, this is fake data. So that's why uh, the information is so variable within where the hole should be versus where they're currently drilled. So now we'll actually go select the drill hole AI uh, section. And from here, we have three buttons on the left as well as a uh, download at the bottom. So the first one will display just the shot plan that was uh, created or imported within our shot planning module. The next step is the AI detected holes. So now you can see the, the green crosshair is the AI detected holes. We can zoom in and see that it did a pretty good job. If some holes aren't detected uh, correctly, we can actually move that crosshair and uh, position it in the appropriate location. If some holes aren't detected at all, then we can simply um, add that hole by clicking this button and then dropping it on the model. And again, we can delete that detected. Um, and then after that, we can actually toggle on the deviation. Uh, this is a collar deviation to see how far the drill hole deviated from the plan. So we turn that on, it's gonna find the nearest hole associated with it and give a, um, a uh, distance from center to center of the hole collar. So after this, we can actually download the pattern accuracy report by clicking this button. And now that it's loaded, we can pull up this uh, PDF. So here it has that overview of the shot plan, the detected drill holes, and then if we can zoom in, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but we can actually see that deviation number. And then from here, um, we can see the bar graph of the deviations in feet or you know, metric if that is the unit settings that were on at the time of doing this. Uh, we plot the deviations versus the number of occurrences. So there were four occurrences of a seven foot uh, collar deviation and so on and so forth. So this helps you get uh, to understand, you know, about on average where you, um, your collars are deviating in respect to each other. And here on the right, we actually see the master table of every hole, its associated deviation, and then the average deviation. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you want to find more information or videos like this, please navigate to the Strayos website, which is strayos.com. The link will be in the description. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.